What's going on guys, TTRX6 here, back for another third party review, and today we're taking a look at the Fans Hobby Power Baser. My apologies that you haven't seen anything from me for a couple weeks, just real busy with Christmas and all that stuff. Uh, but, you know, I'm still here, and if you're still here, thank you very much for sticking around. Uh, yeah, so on the Fans Hobby Power Baser, but first things first, let's talk about the base mode. I want to point out that he does have a base mode, but largely it's just kind of taking the legs, folding them around, and making them kind of sit on the back while well, the sides of his legs for the most part and attaching the guns. Uh, I don't think it's terribly interesting. Uh, it's really not hard to get there from the uh, combined mode uh, form of the trailer. I mean, you just kind of flip things around and sit it down. So I'm not going to show that. Um, and I'm also not going to show the swap out eye gimmick uh, or the, the lights in here. Uh, I have just the chrome eyes. I'm not putting the transparent eyes in and I don't have a CR927 battery lying around to show you guys that. But I will show you if you ordered from the Fans Hobby website and my understanding uh, a bunch of other retailers. So Fans Hobby lied and got us to pre-order on their website for their exclusive, Fans Hobby exclusive, which wasn't exclusive at all. Um, this box and this box you push it and it opens up and it has a matrix that Doesn't fit the toy anywhere. So if you have the hero uh, Prime Well, you don't need this either because he has a matrix too. So Ultimately kind of the coolest thing is the box, but since it has no value I don't know and the fact that they announced it when they when they revealed this guy they made you pre-order it on their website to get the fans hobby exclusive and then other retailers got it kind of sucks you know and it was more expensive for me to get this guy pr before shipping from fans hobby's own website than other retailers and then you also had to tack on the international shipping from fans hobby uh, which most other retailers you could get it for for or free shipping uh, depending on your retailer of choice uh, so this made this guy something like $45 more expensive to order it from them to get the Fans Hobby exclusive, uh, which from my understanding has actually been available on other sites. Like, that sucks. Um, so just want to point that out. Uh, for me personally, in the future, I will never be ordering directly from Fans Hobby's website again. But enough about that. Let's talk about the truck. As you can see, it's Power Master Optimus Prime. Uh, of course, the trailer detaches. I will say the hitch system on this is very strange. Uh, it's tight, so you can't really turn the truck uh, with the hitch system very well. I'm going to have to see if I can loosen that up. Uh, and when you have these guns on, it does limit the truck. That said, kind of the weight of the trailer while you're turning it, I don't know if you can see it, but the truck actually does tend to come off the ground when you're trying to mess with that. So, I don't know. It's weird. We also have high Q slash... Jinrai, whatever you want to call him. Uh, I can't tell if this chrome piece is a piece of die cast or not. It's definitely colder than everything else, and he does have a little bit of weight to him, but I can't really tell. The Power Master can plug in on two different places. So you can either put him on the trailer, which I actually think is my preferred method of uh, plugging him in, and he just plugs in just like that, and I think it actually does add a little something to the trailer there in my opinion or you can do it like you would do on the old G1 Optimus which is to just take this and this does click in and out a little bit uh, I think it was clicked in earlier clicking it out doesn't make a huge difference um, whoops I'm gonna pick up high Q here and just take him and peg in his two pegs on either side of the cab here just like so and uh, yeah, I think the truck probably looks better with high Q on it, but overall when it's combined, I do rather have high Q on the trailer. Um, but the front of the truck, I mean, it's kind of kind of G1 in style, but it's kind of not, if that makes sense. So real quick, here's the trailer without the uh, guns attached. You see the ports on there and the ports on the side. Um, these always kind of stick out a little and they feel like they're wrong, but there doesn't seem to be any way to make them completely in line with the trailer uh, so it is what it is um, the trailer is not necessarily my favorite thing on this toy uh, when you look at it because uh, it's pretty ugly and from underneath you see all the power master stuff and you know from the side you actually see uh, prime's head hanging out i wish there was some way to hide that a little better 
But whatever, for the most part it works and the Power Master Prime trailer is weird. No, like, brake light details or anything on there. It's fine. It serves its purpose, but it's not the most impressive trailer. Uh, I think the MP10 trailer is much more visually interesting to look at. So when this guy was advertised, they said that he was like an MP10 sized robot. Um, for the trucks, it's pretty close. You can see here, MP10 actually is a little bit taller and a little bit wider. Um, and just a smidge longer. But, I mean, for the most part, it does live up to its promise that it's an MP10 sized toy. And it's more apparent when we get to the robot mode. So you might as well start with Q here. He's very simple to transform. You unpeg the legs from his shoulders here and rotate his legs on down and then rotate them at the hips and there we go we got a little high Q who has ball jointed shoulders uh, just a rotation on the elbow he does actually have a head on a swivel which I think is nice uh, if you can get your hands in there let's see use a little spudger tool there you go you know, I wasn't lying, but it is a little hard to manipulate it, and uh, I don't know, at least with my fingers, it's not happening. So in an attempt to be as efficient as possible, we're going to go ahead and transform this guy from truck to robot back to truck, and then we'll transform him from truck to combined mode, and then we'll transform the trailer, and uh, possibly trailer back from combined mode to trailer. I don't think this guy's necessary to do. So let's go. I don't want to waste too much of everybody's time, including my own, and we'll go ahead and fold these in like so. You can take these pieces, kind of unpeg the arms from here, and now open up these red panels here and just slide all this out and close those red panels up. Take these pieces, rotate them down, open these pieces up, rotate the foot up on both sides. You can kind of collapse down those panel pieces from the back here, open up these foot pieces, we'll go ahead and split the legs, no reason we can't do that now. And get in here and grab this little piece and fold it out and close that up. And that's one foot done. Take this, fold it around, close that up. That's two feet done. So we're going to take this, kind of bring the whole piece straight back like that. And let's bring it up so you guys can see. From here, uh, you can see it kind of wants to do it itself just by messing with it. We're going to slide these pieces to the side and then up in there. And then the little wheel here is going to slide up again. So this joint is incredibly hard to work with to make happen. But once you get it, it works just fine. Take this waist, rotate it around because the red's going to be on the back of our, our truck here. Take these pieces here and kind of bring these around. Did I say rotate the waist? Because uh, if I did, I was wrong. I'm sorry. I can't quite remember. I think uh, the other way was for the combined mode. From here, take this top piece. Uh, it probably came apart on you already, but just flip them all the way up like this. And once you have this free, you can rotate this whole thing down. Take this flap, fold it in. Take the Optimus Prime head up and fold but you have to put your finger in here and get the chrome chest piece to kind of come down. Once you have that, you can close that up and you should be able to pull this forward. Make sure all this stuff is tight and collapse this down just like so. Bring this, clip it in place, clip it in place. Uh, the whole time you could have the Power Master on the back if you really want to. Untab the arms, bring them around the other side, untab it, bring it to the other side, fold these pieces down, fold these around, and close it. And close it. And there we go. Now we have our Power Master Optimus Prime in his robot mode, and uh, he's okay. Uh, I will say I'm not a huge fan of what's going on here and here. Uh, I never noticed it in the pictures and like the big hollow here for his, you know, where his waist is. 
it's not super appealing, but I guess it's there for us to get to our combined mode. No opening chest, even though we can we can do this. Uh, just no place for a matrix in there. That kind of stinks. Um, and the back of the truck is just, I mean, it's the front of the truck. It's its the same as it would be on Powermaster Optimus Prime. Uh, I'm not going to show high Q here. When we get onto the combined mode, I'll show high Q in there, because who cares? And obviously, he's not necessary to get him into his combined mode. Uh, any of the guns here, you can rotate this out and open his hand a little, and it slots right on into the hand no problem just as you would expect so really very simplistic to get this guy to his uh, robot mode for a quick size comparison here uh, here he is next to said mp10 in his uh, robot mode and you can see they totally delivered you got a mp10 sized robot in fact he's just slightly bigger than mp10 i think he looks good i mean Size wise, I don't necessarily think he looks great, but I mean, kind of neither did the original Power Master Prime, right? Uh, one thing I do want to note with the metallic eyes here, and let's see how we can get them. Uh, I don't think that, that looks really good. Uh, I feel like someone should make an upgraded head sculpt for this guy uh, because it looks weird. And if I could swap it out with an actual MP10 proper head, I would. Um, the eyes look a little like bug eyed, like. Here's our MP10 face, and then here's this one. It just looks weird. Uh, I would have really have preferred a painted eye versus a metallic eye, and uh, I don't know, something about the sculpting is not quite right for me. So getting him back to his truck mode is just as easy as getting him to his uh, robot mode. We'll go ahead and just kind of reverse everything. So flip the hands in, close them up. Uh, you saw I flipped those shoulder pieces, by the way. There he is with the Power Master on the back here. Take this, fold that up, and untab it. So I'm do it again for this side. Fold it up. Fold it up. Unpeg these things here. Go ahead and extend this up so you can push that back in. Open that. Take the head, fold it down. Get in here, lift that up. Close it back in place. This can come around to here, and you can close this on up, like so. Just take these pieces, just do what you need to, to fold them back in place. For me, it's just rotate them all the way around and slide them in place. Take the feet here, open up the thing, bring the heel spur in, close it. Heel spur in, close it, bring these down, and kind of collapse the ankle. Close that up. Bring these together, and if you're retracting the feet, they do have these little spring-loaded things. The thing about it is you don't really need to mess with them. Just put them together, and the spring-loaded buttons are actually being pushed by the bot itself. Okay, so take two on these panels here. So when I was doing it the first time, I was having some problems. Uh, if you pull these wheels down, and I don't know what it is, if it just gives you more leverage or something. Nope, now we're back to being stuck. It was working really smooth for me a second ago. Now it's not. So, little trick. If you're having trouble, disconnect these things, open this up again, and you can actually see in there, and you can carefully push this flap down here and you can kind of work it from the other direction there and get that that piece to go around so just so you can hopefully you can see that can you see the piece so as I'm working on the wheel you can see how it goes there and you can give it an extra little push from the inside so go ahead and fix all this back up if you use that trick yours may work a little smoother than mine does and uh, probably with more transformations, that joint will loosen up at least a little. So anyway, we've got this. So we can now take this and collapse it back up here. And not all the way, just most of the way. And what we're going to do is come to the bottom here, open these red panels, and 
with the legs together, like I said, that spring mechanism is actuated. And you got two little tabs here and two slots on the white crotch piece. You want to make sure that they line up. And once they're in place, you can close these from here. It's just kind of a matter of cleaning up the top of the truck and getting these things pegged in properly. And if things are looking weird for you, like they look for me right now, what probably ended up happening is that this piece here is not sitting in the right place. You want it back like that. Then go ahead and bring it forward again. Whoops, I didn't realize that, that it slid out of place. You should be able to close everything up and these should be sitting in their appropriate slots on the back here. So there we go. Looks like everything is good now. These are closed. Just bring these blue pieces and fold them in place. And there we go. We got Powermaster Prime back in his truck mode. So let's get the trailer prepped. We're going to start by taking these back panels and folding them in like that so we have access to the feet we can come up to the top here and this can be at least a little bit tricky um, but try to find something here that you can get or just use your little tool to get in here and open the back doors like this these are gonna fold well just keep them open like this. And then we're going to take these side panels and fold them all the way back. And then all this stuff is going to fold in and you're going to see where that'll tab together on the side there. Same thing for this side. Fold it down. Fold this around so it tabs in. And now slide that whole panel assembly down there. I think that's kind of pretty cool. We're gonna go ahead and split the legs here in the back. Fold this panel in, fold this panel up, fold that panel up, take these little panels and fold them all the way around like that. From here, we're gonna take the feet and you can disconnect these pieces and just kind of rock this whole assembly down and bring the heel spur down like this. Uh, it's not supposed to be all the way flat, but I suppose you could do that if you prefer it. Um, but the pictures show it more like a boot. So go ahead, do that again, rocking all this assembly downward. This whole thing is relatively easy up until like the very very last step so anyway we're gonna take this pull his legs out maybe this one already worked itself out there we go and uh, once again you do have a little spring lock mechanism here take these knee pieces Actually take the foot and extend the foot piece. You want to rock the ankle back a little bit more than I have it. Because these little pistons kind of need to, to clear everything. And then slide the knee pad down like so. Once that's down, we go ahead and kind of rock this little wheel well out and find the best place you can a little bit tricky but it should flip around like this and then very minimal take this thing and slide it down it barely changes as you can see that's how far it is and now that's how it is so do that again to this side and this I think could have been I don't know. I feel like it could have been better done, um, but at the same time, if it was any smaller, this little armature here uh, would risk breaking really easy. 
So we got that. And I don't think that that looks nice. That's the last we'll talk about that. So we've got his legs done here. Can go ahead and fix his little leg armors and such. Make sure his feet are forward because I always tap them back. So now we've got that, we can get onto the top of this toy. All right, quick camera adjustment here. We're gonna take this trailer piece and bring it like that. Take this piece and kind of bring it out. Take the head and bring it all the way up and out. Now take these arms, flip them forward like so, and bring them down. And we're kind of done with the trailer. Uh, we're just going to open up these chest pieces to receive the back part. And then all this stuff can kind of just sit there right now. Oh yeah, let's go ahead and do the hands. I want to point out that one of my hands is super messed up and we'll see if we can get it back into its trailer mode form later. So go ahead and do that. And we'll just take this and put it aside. For okay, so to get the actual cab to the combined mode, we're going to do a lot of what we did before. Uh, we can take the feet, kind of leave them like this. Uh, undo these pieces here on both sides. Open these red panels. Disconnect the tops here of the uh, leg bits. Pull this on down. Close these up. This time we're going to flip the waist. While we have this, we go ahead and once again work with the toughest part on the truck here. Making sure that it's all in place like so. From this part, this is probably the hardest part to do. Um, and I didn't show it because I've retaken this thing like six times now. Trying to best show how this goes. Um, but this little wheel does pop up. It's almost a unnoticeable difference. The only thing it's actually going to do is show this a little more. So what you want to do here is you want this piece to be straight and then you want to take this and kind of fold it up like this and your little hip pieces should kind of be against the wheel like that on both sides. Uh, once you have that, that should allow everything to kind of fold up like you need to. So have these red pieces open. You're going to bring the blue arm bits inside here. And we want to make sure that everything is all squared up and push it forward and it should kind of click in place and you should see that that red piece should kind of secure on. It'll be a little more secure when we can uh, make sure we have everything lined up on both sides. So let's just do the other side here. Take this and you really don't want these arms to be moving around because they do make it more difficult here. Whoops, I almost lost that one. So bring it up, clear the smokestack, bring it around, and you should see that the, the legs are pretty well 90 degrees here with the robot when you're looking at it. And there should be this space going through like this uh, with the lowest point of the truck being the combining port. So once you have that, this all should secure down fairly nicely. Go ahead and make sure your, your legs are pegged together nicely. And clean up any of the bottom you need to. So it should look something like this when you're done with it. So it may take some doing, but you'll eventually get these things to stop popping out and that'll be with the legs perfectly aligned. Uh, if they keep popping, something's misaligned with the legs, just keep putting them together and just kind of, you know, hold the crotch piece down and move them into alignment. Once they're there, we can get on the next part where we're going to take our Power Master Prime armor. He's got a ridge here and a ridge here. They correspond to tabs on each side. And this part is not necessarily the most fun part either. 
Uh, but this should slide on into the ridges there, hopefully without popping the tab. And the bottom here looks like it should peg into place, but it really just kind of rests on the square that's down there. So once you have this, you can go ahead and close these once again. Would have been real nice if maybe these were a little longer and tabbed into here, but they don't. They just kind of close up. So we're going to come to the back here, uh, take this piece here, being careful not to move our prime in here, kind of fold the backpack up again. Could have used some tabs back here to tab things in place, but instead they just kind of decided that they should just rest the piece there. So once that's here, you're just going to close up the sides of the trailer to make the backpack here. So from here, pull this armature up as much as you can. I rotate one foot down so I can get the head past it and then work on rotating the other foot down. These just kind of sit back here like this on both sides. We'll come back around to the front, and this always is difficult and tends to undo a little bit of what you've done, because uh, you got to kind of pull the feet aside a little. But this will come down, and it should, all things coming together, plug right in to the top here. If you are having problems getting this flat piece here to come down, something's misaligned with your feet, go back and try again. And there we go. We've got our Power Master Prime into his robot mode. And uh, for all the work that it takes to get there, honestly, once you get things aligned, it's not so bad. The more you mess with it, the more intuitive it ends up getting. So let me pull the camera back and we can take a look at him a little bit. So here we've got our Power Master Optimus in his robot mode and he is a rather big fellow. I am now on the side of the camera so we can kind of manipulate him while we're doing things. He can, of course, be armed up, and I didn't mention that you can have him wield the uh, double-barreled cannon if you want uh, in typical Power Master Optimus fashion. I believe that we should put these on the shoulders and then go ahead and take the other two guns here and slot them into his hands. And I will say, once again, The face doesn't really feel quite right to me. Something about the sculpt of the eyes. I think it's better on this than it is the uh, solo bot, but I don't know. I could use a head upgrade for this too, I think. But he is pretty big and imposing and impressive. Don't care for this. Don't care for the hollows here. And don't care for being able to see all this stuff here. Wish something else flipped out of the trailer, uh, which I think would have actually helped it in trailer mode. Uh, hide some of the pieces like the prime head um, The instructions on this guy aren't the best to follow they're Not terribly clear on some of the parts and you really need things to be aligned perfectly on the back here uh, Otherwise these red panels pop up and you'll never get the head down It has a way of making you think that you're doing it the right way and then uh, just kind of in the last step It just doesn't work Articulation, heads on a ball joint, uh, the shoulders are ratcheted, you got a bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, uh, a waist swivel. The armor is a little weird because it's on a, a little rotation here uh, that rotates this way and up and down. So you just kind of lose all the armor. It doesn't really look good. I kind of wish it was attached to the crotch piece and not to uh, the upper torso. It's very strange. Uh, ratcheted leg here. It's kind of a soft ratchet um, and just for the range of motion you get that, you got that, you got that, you got that. You can just stand straight up and down uh, but most often I feel like well here's one click out on each of them. Uh, it's a little bit of a wide A so I don't know. It's up to you. Uh, I tend to I mean he needs the ratchets. He definitely needs the ratchets but it definitely makes it a little bit difficult in my opinion to get that that stoic look uh, also he does have a tendency to be a little back heavy and 
these boots don't actually end up really giving as much support as I think uh, make toy or fans hobby believes that they do uh, because you'll be like doing something and it'll just have this tendency to go down so an extra piece that could have flipped out or something uh, and just for reference I said that you could kind of do that but like I mean that provides zero stability in fact he's more likely to fall over like that so that's something to be aware of does have a decent ankle tilt uh, forward and back is done by this big inner rocker and it is very hard to get more forward out of it uh, it pretty much just kind of tilts back so that's a little bit limiting but overall I think he's pretty impressive in his combined mode here and uh, for reference here he is now next to that same MP10 for scale I mean that's pretty so let's cool. get the trailer back to its regular mode here uh, because like I said doing the cab is largely uh, the same as getting the cab from its individual robot mode back and we'll just kind of unpeg all this stuff these back panels are extraordinarily tight uh, I might have to put a little bit of lubrication on these just because I'm afraid I could stress something out go ahead take all this out and slide the truck out goodbye truck you got the truck from there right right so we're gonna take these we're gonna make sure that they're ratcheted all the way in and we're gonna kind of work on the hands here one of these hands like I said doesn't work as nice as the other I think it's this one uh, I actually had to get a knife and kind of pull this apart to make it peg on in there and it's gonna do it again to me so that is most definitely a problem let's see I've got this uh, little vice here you can see if you look at it that mine is actually bent inwards so I kinda have to get in there with something let's use our handy dandy hail Hasbro tool here and we're gonna take this and we're just gonna kinda stress our plastic a little because something happened to it and I don't know what and it's probably gonna continue not to work it only happens on this one wrist and it's not a problem on the other so I'm not really sure what to do with this but I can tell you that without doing that I actually can't get it in so I might have to end up talking to fans hobby get a replacement arm this side works fine just open it up flip it on in close it no problem there since we have that all this stuff can well peg the arms together and then bring it down to the center part of the trailer here we can close these windows bring the side panels back around here close that up close this down plugging all of these pieces in and bring the head all the way through and the head is on a slider up there so slide that down and bring it through and they the head will plug into the sides of the arms here when it's down like that so we've got that let's go on to the bottom here and we are almost done I'm gonna take this slide this forward slide this up well you don't want to do that quite yet take these pieces slide them up pull the wheels out easier said than done there we go take this piece kind of get it so you can rotate it around and place it back it does tab in on both sides pull this out bring it around there we go come on the rubber tires are real nice but could have given us just a little bit more clearance on moving these pieces around in fact I would have actually preferred if this whole piece was instead on some kind of 
Like the whole wheel piece was on some kind of armature that you could move around. Slide this thing up and we'll come back to fixing this after. Yeah, we'll do it now. Why the heck not? Take these. Slide the foot on in. Lift the like little heel spur and bring it in place and lock it all down. That'll get that all in place. Open up these things because why not? All three of them. Here we go. On to the other side here. Slide this all up. Bring this down. We can go ahead, whoops, let's open this little tabbing piece here. There we go. And this piece right here. Bring it around. Tab this in place and tab this in place. Once again, well, no, I'm sorry, I was wrong. We can untab those things that we just tabbed in because we need to push these and push the legs up on each side. Make sure your hip armor is under. Let's push that button, tab it in. Now we'll go ahead and re-tab these pieces here in on both sides there we go and of course this thing slipped us on the camera there we go and one last tab down there okay home stretch with this like so we can take this rotate it up rotate actually slide this up then rotate this making sure we clear everything and this side panel should kind of suggestively tab in there so go ahead and do this rotate that rotate that again getting the suggestion of the tabbing in on the side here actually maybe more than suggestively tabs in I didn't have it tabbed in that well previously and now it seems to be even better there we go take these interlock them make sure that your gray pieces are up like that so it looks nice and from here we'll go ahead and rotate these back panel bits out on both sides and honestly the only thing left to do is just make sure that these darn little wheel wells are properly in place because they usually get caught on the wheel fairly badly come on wheel wells I hate the wheel wells on this thing I really do So there we go. We got them tabbed in, back in its robot mode. Uh, this one's a little stiff, so I gotta adjust it a little more. But there you go. So overall, I think it's good. I'd say don't buy it from Fans Hobbies website because they're a ripoff to buy it from themselves, considering that I got it slower than most people and it cost me more money. Uh, yeah, that sucks. Toy's pretty good. Not a replacement for MP10. Only buy it if you're into cool transforming robots or you have a nostalgia for Power Master Prime, in my opinion. So this is TTRX6. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.